with Grand Fest now a thing of the past, it's time to return to the Splatlands. Being back in Splatsville won't stop some folk from being a little bit silly, though. So here's just over 33 ways to get kicked out of Splatsville. And of course, the amount of money and time you'll be paying for your crimes will be in the bottom left, so here we go. Thankfully, this cephalopod here is a great example of someone who can't be trifled with. But sometimes inklings and octlings run around with their masks on and putting your hand over the eye holes so they can't see, even if it's just a prank, is not allowed. While it probably won't get you kicked out of the Splatlands for very long, if anything, we do ask you don't walk in and out of the doors of any of the stores out here in Splatsville, because uh, it's such a waste of electricity. Come on, these doors move on their own, and this is what you're gonna do with them? Are you still going? Those stickers are up high for a reason. And the cameras all the way up by that window are up there also for a reason. Please stop finding the creepiest plaza post you can see in the Splatlands and pasting it all over the place might be what this inkfish wants you to do. But it's something you really, really, really shouldn't do. No. Even when you're dressed up in your nicest, simplest attire, telling the jellyfish that you just couldn't read the sign is not enough. Please stop trying to use your inkling form to go through the grates. They're blocked off for a reason, all right? Hey, 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 I, I see you over there. You don't know how long that bottle's been on the floor for. Why, why do you even want to take it? What is so interesting about it? Please, please, just... Just tell me, look, it's, it's literally next to some other trash. You can't be that interested in it. You really, really, really can't. Oh, you're just gonna take it anyway, aren't you? There are two things in this room that won't be happening anytime soon. Number one, this Octolink's post over here. And number two, your ability to take whatever that is that's hanging off of here. What is it? Laundry? Why do you even want that? It's, it's not yours. Are you gonna make your own gear with it? Is that even allowed? Can you make? your own gear? I, I should go ask somebody about that. Okay. Just because you can jump through the little loops doesn't mean you should. What, what, what do you even call these? What do you even call these? I, I, I don't even know. Regardless, please stop jumping through them. What if someone is like walking through on the other side? You could bump into somebody and that could get you kicked out. Even if you happen to overhear a conversation the jellyfish have, making matchmaker with them and trying to help them get together without their permission is pretty look down upon first of all you gotta push them directly where you want them to go which is pretty rude and second of all you don't know if they're just friends or not yes congratulations i see you you got another weapon sticker hooray now please don't go plastering them all over the table turf battle wall come on what a table turf ever do to you to deserve that no matter how tempting it can be, remember that all Inklings and Octolings only get one of each piece of gear. So the idea of taking other players' gear is really looked down upon, even if it's a bunch of cat ears, cute little ears. Nope, come on, just, just walk away. Walk away, there you go. There you go, good job. Did you know that until more rules were put in place, Inklings and Octolings used to zip caster to the tippity top of this little pig over here and just hang out i get it I, honestly it, it does look like a lot of fun but it's also pretty dangerous so how about you don't i've heard that some ink fish will hide right behind these boxes over here and just wait for somebody to walk up the stairs the normal way so they can pop out and say hello and you know while it might feel a little bit silly when you do it i've heard of a couple players that have fallen back down the stairs and landed on their twish do you do you really want to do that to somebody? No. Is your locker even big enough to carry that? Why are you so gung-ho on trying to steal this flag? Don't you have, don't you have like a battle to get to? Don't you want to go shopping in Ammo Nights instead of trying to take the flag right outside of it? No? All right. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but trying to take photo or video outside of an established store and claiming that everything that you say is true is not very well looked upon. Just because someone left this motorcycle here doesn't mean you can take it. That's a lot of free stuff. 
That doesn't mean it's your free stuff. It could belong to this fella right here. He's suspiciously close. Does this, does this belong to you, sir? Look, he's even thinking about it. He's giving it consideration. Why weren't you at the Grand Festival, buddy? You would have been able to see just fine. You're taller than everybody else. Okay, I don't... I don't think it's his motorcycle, so I guess I'll just... I guess we'll just leave it there. For now. I mean, like, they even left their phone behind. That's so sad. Messing with any of the machines built to keep Splatsville running is a great way to get yourself kicked out in no time. And by great, I mean a terrible way. Please don't do that. Honestly, I, I don't know if I've ever seen these lights even turn on, but there is still a rule for them. Please don't break them. I've seen a couple of individuals who have tried to do things like taking a shoe of their own and putting it in front of one of the lights. Just that so if they ever do turn on, nobody can see through them. That's also no good. Don't do that. What's that? You wanna legally buy a snack from the machine? I'm so pr- Oh, oh, they're, they're putting their hand in it. No, stop. Oh, that's a great way to make them stop. While it might seem like a cool trick at first, trying to jump directly from the bushes into that little grate on the floor over there is a pretty bad idea. First of all, you don't even know where it's gonna go. Oh, and they're gone. Is that what you wanted? Congrats. You're in the middle of nowhere now! Okay, I don't really know how you're doing that right now with your shoes, but uh, I kinda ask that you stop doing that. I think you're scaring one of the customers, okay? Oh, what's that? You wanna know the true reason why burst bombs were banned from Inkopolis and from Splatsville? Well, here in Splatsville, these heights are so high that throwing a burst bomb? <sighs> They can land anywhere. Splatsville is a pretty big place. And if you see a jellyfish who's looking a little lost, please don't give them misdirection on where they should go. If they're looking for ammo nights, which is right down the stairs, don't go back up the stairs and start trying to make them go up them. It's not gonna work. It's really not gonna, okay, I, I guess it is kind of working. Are you happy? Are you happy now? Just because some of the artwork in front of the lobby is flames, as the kids would say, doesn't mean that you can go ahead and loiter there all day. Listen, there's already music playing out of the main lobby. Please don't try to sell your own music right outside. We've already had to take away a few individuals for doing that just in the last couple of weeks. Despite what that sign over there does say, unfortunately, telling the staff you have a tummy ache will not allow you to ride the rail for free. I'm sorry. The food on that sign looks pretty good, right? I hate to tell you this, but because Deep Cut is recording right over there, you're not really gonna be able to go inside and climb up those stairs. After all, it looks like that hallway goes both ways and you don't wanna disturb them in the middle of their set, right? Oh, oh you do? Oh, you didn't want to go in the cafe at all. You wanted to... You wanted to go over there? You wanted to give Big Man a hug? Like that TV is getting a hug from him? I'm, I'm sorry. You really can't do that right now, okay? Okay? Do a crime like that and this'll be you the next time we have a Splatfest. What's that you have behind you? Is that a... Is that a jellyfish? What are you planning to do? Are, are you trying to tell this jellyfish to use their arms to... Grab something for you? Like, up the coin slot? Oh, I, I really hope nobody saw you try to do that. Growing plants out in the desert is pretty difficult. So we ask that you don't take any of the plants lying around for your own lockers. You can probably buy some right from Harmony's shop. Why, why don't you start there, okay? Scribbling your social media on one of Marigold's signs is highly looked down upon. And remember, Marigold is in both parts of Inkopolis as well. Don't think she'll be forgetting any time soon if you bother her. Remember, Hotlantis is specifically in Splatsville. We do ask that you are respectful towards Harmony, and you don't wait until your catalog is almost all full up to go and get all your rewards. Imagine how much time she's gonna have to spend on you that she can't spend on helping out other Inklings and Octolings? If you happen to stop by and don't get something you want, please don't complain about it too much, okay? Uh, you'll get something better next time. Oh, okay, you'll get something better next time. Oh, okay, you'll get something better next time. Okay. 
Okay, Harmony, actually, you know, you can have this stuff back. I, I think I'm gonna go. If you already own every item that's for sale in the shop that you are visiting, we ask that you don't go rummaging through the items behind you to try and find something new. Just wait one more day. Just because the posters on this wall all seem to be the same thing doesn't mean you're allowed to add variety to them. Clearly, those posters are there for a reason. I kind of wish they were related to, uh, you know, that actually, actually looks a lot like that scooter we saw earlier. Playing peekaboo between two different parts of the staircase might seem like a lot of fun, but look at this jellyfish right here. I, I think he looks a little concerned. What if he hadn't been looking? What if he was looking down at his phone and happened to walk down the stair- Okay, he's walking- he's walking up the stairs. You're not really helping me with this explanation, but, but regardless, if he was walking down the stairs towards you at that moment, you might have bumped into him because you weren't paying attention. So please do look around. Whether you have absolutely no snails to your name, or you happen to have a whole bunch, trying to steal one of the snails from Merch's supply is a very bad idea. I know, you see him and you say, oh, but he's only got one eye and he's currently on his phone, right? He won't notice, no. Bro is bored. He is waiting for somebody to try and steal those snails. He will know when you do it and he will not go down without a fight. I, I don't know if you missed this, by the way, but like, look at this guy's growth spurt. He could absolutely take you on. Do not try it. Just because one wall happens to have a drawing and the other wall at tentacle length is surprisingly blank, doesn't mean that it's your turn to add some kind of artwork to this wall. Trust, there's a camera, where is it? Where, where is it? Where is, it? oh yeah, 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 okay, so, so, it's very hard to spot, but do you see that air conditioning unit right over there, right? Yeah, that one, that one. There's a camera just out of view, right where that reticle is. I know you, you can't really see it that easy, but trust me, it is there, don't try it, thank you. If after all of this, you still don't mind getting kicked out of the Splatlands, maybe that toll at Hammerhead Bridge will make you think a little bit differently. What's that? Nothing in your mind has changed at all over the course of this video? <sighs> oh well, can't, can't say I didn't try. As long as you're nice to Marigold, I'll say nothing, all right? Thank you for watching. Did you know that only about half of my watch time comes from people who are subscribed? So like, hey, you could be the next one to subscribe. And if you're looking for something else to watch, I did this exact same video, but for the Splatfest that just ended. Grandfest. I, I miss her, but we gotta, we gotta move on. If you wanna see what I do in the future, really do, do subscribe. The button's like right there. And the video I just mentioned is right here. And even there's probably another video right next to my inkling right now. You could, you could click on that too, okay? Okay, bye.